Hey loves, welcome, welcome back. My name is Francesca, I'm the creator and owner of Spirits and Livings. And in today's video, I'm gonna be making over this touch right here. I got off of Facebook Marketplace. I think I got it for about 40 bucks. I can't remember right now, but it's in excellent conditions. Um, it did have uh, rails, but I thought it just looked too outdated. So I took those out, which I'll show you um, how I did that. I think, I don't know, anyway. And I'm going in with Vintage Pink by the DIY Cottage Colors, curated by Jamie Ray Vintage. So I am very excited. Um, I'm really liking how this pink looks. So if you wanna see how I turn this hutch from this to whatever it turns out, <laughs> just keep watching. <laughs> Be sure to subscribe, like this video, and tell me have you tried any of the new DIY cottage colors? All right, let's get started. So as always, I start by cleaning the, the piece. I got these attachments recently and um, I can't tell you what I think of it yet because I went at it too, too hard and so it would just like splatter everywhere. And then I kept playing around and I just, I need to go on a slower pace so that it actually cleans. So yeah, <laughs> but um, it was fun nonetheless, but I did make a huge mess. So, um, you see those rails? Yeah, I took them out. I did just, I felt they were outdated and cleaning them was a hassle. So I was like, all right, be gone. And that's what I did. So I put um, Bondo and I just sanded it down smooth and I think it looks better. <laughs> Okay, so once I finished, this is what it looked like. I really didn't have to do any real touch-ups to this. It was in perfect conditions. And I am using the new uh, cottage line, the cottage colors by Debbie's Design Diary and Jamie Ray Vintage. This is cottage pink and it has a built-in sealer. So I was really excited about this. Um, as it goes on it looks like you know it has great coverage which it did however I don't know if it's because the wood was too dark but you can see like it's streaky um, the formula is definitely different than um, what I'm used to from the DIY paint um, but I think it's because of the built-in sealer this needed three coats guys because it just kept looking streaky um, I definitely let it dry um, for at least two hours. Actually, I let this dry overnight. So three nights, right? Yeah. Um, just to give it a fair chance, but I, that, that was really not necessary, but you see how light it is. Like you could still see through and, and see the wood and you could still see it even with the second coat. And I was like, Oh my God, I'm running out of paint. I really hope that the third coat does it. Look how satisfying this is. Oh, yummy looks like it looks like candy <laughs> but yeah um I was really impressed like I said and I just painted the whole thing I did leave the bottom of the shelves in in bare wood and the top of the hutch um part um just because I think it adds some contrast um other than that this is so milky it's so nice it's so rich it's just goodness <laughs> in a bottle well in a can i love it i love it it's the perfect pink see here you can see that looks are deceiving especially on camera and like when you're recording because it looks like it's covering pretty well which it is i'm not saying it's not however it's just that once it dried it i can still see the wood behind it of course it was the first coat but i did notice that on the second coat it did the same thing so that's why i was like on the third coat i was just praying to all the gods and goddesses like please let this be full coverage i wasn't too concerned about it because i was gonna distress this piece so you know i wasn't 
too concerned but I did want the parts that I wasn't going to distress to be fully covered so it was a concern at this point um, that it just might not do the trick. I don't know if it was just the formula, I don't know if it's the heat here in Florida. Um, so I was in my studio so I can't really say it was the humidity or anything. Um, I think it's just the formula and I think it's also the color of the actual piece. Maybe it was just a little bit too dark. Um, I did not prime or anything just because I didn't feel that it needed one. I had no bleed throughs like when I cleaned it so I wasn't too concerned with that. Um, maybe if I would have put like a white primer underneath maybe it wouldn't have been such a big deal on the second coat. Um, however, just, you know, rest assured that the third coat did its job, did its thing, and yeah, I'm, I'm just really liking it. I used a new brush also, um, new for me. Um, this is the Klingon brush. I don't know what number, sorry, I'll link it down below. And I really like it. So this brush, um, I know that Jamie and Zep use a lot on their videos, and I was like, I had to try it. So I'm really glad that I did. Um, I'm probably going to invest in, in some more. This is just a, a French tip uh, brush and it's great for those corners. Which this was kind of dumb because I ended up painting the size anyway. But it did work for this part because like I said I left the bottom of the shelves um, in its original color. And guys I'm a stay at home mom. and balancing everything out can be kind of hard so I try to get my kids involved as much as I can um my daughter is 12 so she has like she wants nothing to do with what I do sometimes she helps sometimes she doesn't unless she's getting paid for it um you know because she's a hustler um but my son however I can get him to get involved with me sometimes and especially when it comes to paint look at that face oh so cute so yeah I, I love it but he ditched me pretty quickly he got bored and he's like, peace out, I'm done. Um, so yeah, but my studio is right next to the living room so he can come in and out anytime. So it works. So here's the second coat, I believe. And don't mind the, the insides because that was the first coat. But on the shelf, you can see the second coat already. See how it's like, it's still see-through? Man, I was so worried. Okay. So I am doing a scratch test and I'm pressing really hard with my nails and this paint did not budge so I was like super impressed with it, super happy with it. Um, that's like the number one thing, at least for me, that freaks me out. It's like, oh my god, if, if this piece gets scratched, um, you know, I always leave um, extra paint for my buyers but still like no anyway look what I did <laughs> the whole time I painted I did not think about taking off the drawer and <laughs> it got stuck guys oh my god I, I freaked out I was like oh my god and I tried to go in with a razor and I was like I'm just gonna screw this up no way so I was like let me see if I could get it from the back I had to replace the back anyway so <laughs> <laughs> so side note you know if, if <laughs> take out your drawers take out your drawers <laughs> so this is what it looked like at the end um right before sanding it and this is three coats all in all um the whole can it's 16 ounces and it did great for this whole piece so i was really pleased and here i just I, I had to sand this like I had to really press down to sand this down to get a good distressed look um that's how good the paint is y'all um it has a built-in sealer like I said and that thing is strong because I mean it looks easy here but I'm pressing down because it just it wouldn't it wouldn't distress so now this is the authentic part of this piece I left it at that I know that I could have taken that out but this is a cottage piece so just imagine it's been in your house forever. Like those things are gonna stay there. So I just put some Dixie Belle Mama's butter in there. It's still, you can still see them, but I just think it adds so much character to the piece. This is the inside, so it's not like anybody's gonna really see this, 
but I think leaving a part of history into this piece was perfect and like I don't know it just made me feel like memories are getting to live on with this piece so then I just took these things out and um, two weeks later <laughs> I bought the back piece and yeah it was all done What do you think? It's so pretty. <laughs> I am so in love with it. I think this pink is perfect. It's definitely vintage pink. <laughs> so I did not film this, but the top, all I used was the Waverly Antique Wax, and I just slapped it on. I left it for a little bit, and then I just wiped off the excess, and that's all I did. So it's in its raw and natural state of being. Um, I kept the authenticity of the inside <laughs> it's a little bit scratched up but I think it looks great I, I put a little bit of um, mama's butter on it so it's perfect it's just used so and I love it because it's cottage it's like it's vintage vintage pink right so I thought it was fitting um, I'm in love with the formula of this paint I'm in love with the color I'm in love with how it looks I love that it's so resistant like you saw I did the scratch test and I'm in love with that so that's that's great so I think the next color of this line is gonna be the one that I'm gonna use it's gonna be the gray one and I'm very excited so if you've used either vintage pink or gray or any other color let me know but if you have used the vintage gray let me know and tell me your thoughts because that's gonna be the next color I use um, I don't know when but stay tuned for that so yeah, I'm in love. I feel like a fairy. I feel like I am in a cottage and I feel like I, I live in the forest and I'm about to pick berries and make a berry salad on my vintage pink hutch. <laughs> so let me know in the comments what your thoughts are. Um, let me know if you would have painted it any other color. Um, so yeah, I'm in love with it. Thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye, loves.